what's the life? <laughs> Hi, so I'm Alvin, I'm the real Alvin, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm running for VP Finance, and, for, and I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to get down to business. So what does VP Finance do? Basically, all of you have paid a $7 residence fee, and we're going to organize fundraisers and stuff all throughout the year, and we, we get, we're going to pull this money in the council, and basically we're going to use it to like throw parties, organize awesome events, and buy stuff for residents that all of you can enjoy. And why, so why should you trust me to manage your resources effectively? Why should, you, why should you trust that I can be sane and responsible in handling these finances when I taxi up the hill every day? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a hardworking and responsible individual. You have to trust me on that. And I, I can use Excel. I, I can count. I can count. I'm good at basic math. And, well, basically, you should vote for me because I know I can do this job well. I know that if you vote for me, I will do. I will give it my all. I will attend all meetings and listen to all your ideas, and make sure you guys actually get represented at the council. So basically, I I decided to run for council because um, I I just really love Douglas. I mean, when I first came here, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. But I came here, and you guys have become like my family. It's actually this place is awesome. I mean, I'm so proud to be part of such an amazing community of talented people. I just really want to give back. It doesn't matter if I'm elected or not. I just really want to give back to this community that we're only starting to build. And to, to finish off, I'm going to like play a little musical tribute to one of my biggest fans. And there are me most of my voice is kind of messed up. So can't you see that I'm the one who understands you? Been here all along, so why can't you? many Katie's in Douglas Hall this year, and I'm running for BT Finance. For those of you that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I'm a year zero student studying chemical engineering. I'm from Kelowna, BC, and I live in E House. Um, as Alvin mentioned, it's the job of the BP Finance to manage the about $7 each that we paid as part of our rent for the Douglas Council. And I may not be an economics major, but I do have experience dealing with this amount of money and working in this kind of a role. In high school, I was the president of the Rotary Interact Club at my school, and I was one of the main people involved in drawing up the budget for every event we held, including Carnival, where we actually raised $2,000. In that role, so, and then to help with the rest of council, I also gained a lot of experience planning events for great numbers of people, such as a group like the residents of Douglas Hall. Um, I will hold a bunch of fundraisers throughout the year to raise more money to supplement our Douglas Hall fund so that we can hold a bunch of great events. But one of the, uh, the easiest ideas we had was to just collect all of the empty bottles and everything that we have from all of our pre-drinks, power hours, basement parties. I know I've seen a few people doing this already, but if we just collected them, took it back, not only will we help the environment dispose of them properly, but we could supplement our council income. And so, as it says on my poster, we're spending about $7,000 on rent this year, $5,000 on food, $7 on Douglas Council, but having the confidence that your money is being spent well is priceless. So, there are some things in life money can't buy, but if you want to know your money is spent well, vote Katie McDonald for VP Finance. And I would have to be Douglas Hall's Hubmeister slash VP events for this year. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of the Book of Awesome, but if you haven't, Basically what it is, is listing a whole bunch of awesome things from popping bubble wrap to wearing sweatpants. And um, as your pubmeister, your experience at Doug would be more than worthy of being in this book of awesome. So I've thought of a few things that relate to events that I would love to uh, have this year for you guys. So number one is a good costume. Now the number of themed parties at Doug this year is going to be insane. I promise there will be a theme to satisfy each and every one of you. So whether that's 80s night or, uh, uh, sorry, whiteboard party or toga party, this time with girls, <laughs> there will be something for you. Number two, endorsements. One of my main goals is to keep Douglas active. So I have a few ideas for this. The first is a hardcore parkour extravaganza. The next is uh, multiple scavenger hunts around res or um, campus. And I'd also love to take a ski trip up the mountain in which crazy spandex is a necessity, which I don't want to, so don't worry. Um, 
The third thing is the holidays. So I plan on organizing a giant festive Christmas celebration. I'm talking Christmas trees, menorahs, mistletoe, a huge dreidel tournament, and a big feast including most turkey and latkes. So the more religions and traditions included, the better. I also think food should be incorporated into as many duck events as possible, so anything from potlucks to an Iron Chef competition. Um, as a camp counselor and ski instructor, I know how to plan events. I'm constantly working with others, cooperation and compromising are skills that come naturally to me. And I'm uh, hardworking, diligent, and I know how to party. I'm determined to make sure that each and every one of you has the most incredible time I've done this year. Don't lie to yourselves. I know you want Chris Wicca, I know you want parkouring, and I know you want lots of beer pong. So whether you want to chill the Mumford and Sons or rage to David Guetta, vote for me, and I'll make your dreams come true. Dance? Sorry, I'm a little late. I was just ran back from my chem lab, which is not a fun experience. But anyway, it's not something I want. So, first of all, I'd like to start off by being perfectly honest with all of you. I have no experience whatsoever in any sort of student politics. I've never done anything like this before. That being said, the fact that I have no experience is kind of what's making me so excited and so enthusiastic about working for Doug because I know all the people here, all the people seem so awesome. It just seems like such a great experience and I'd love to do whatever I can to make Doug, the Doug experience a better place. I'm going to take a few breaths. Um, okay. Um, okay um, well, the big plan that I really want to implement as VP Finance is that I really want to make sure that all of our expenses on Doug Council are clearly available to, for anyone to see because after all it is your money that you have donated to Doug Council. I think it's my responsibility as VP Finance to make sure that you're all well aware of how your money is being used. So every expense that we make will be kept on a log. I'll probably post it right outside the cafeteria. One minute, sorry. One minute left? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll post it right outside the Doug cafeteria so you'll, you'll always be well aware of how your money is being spent. So, just a little more about myself. I am currently a physics major, which means I'm quite fun with math, which is part of the reason I decided to run for VP Finance to begin with. So, the idea of working with numbers and that just is very, very appealing to me. So, <laughs> so I'm sure that I do a wonderful job for VP Finance if I'm lucky enough to be voted for. So, that's really all I have to say about myself. I hope that, hope that whoever you vote for, will be a good experience for you, and I hope that I, if I'm elected, I'm sure that'll make Doug life a great experience for you all. Thanks a lot. <laughs>